guys so much. There's another group coming up this morning. We say goodbye to Peter. And tonight we celebrate his life. So that's why we're all here. And it felt so good to hear the music. Peter, Peter and I used to talk every day. And anything I say is for my wife, Roberta, and I. I speak for us both. And if Peter and I didn't hear music for a day or two, <laughs> we would get sick. <laughs> it was like oxygen. <laughs> so I feel more alive now than I some music. And I know he feels the same way. The other thing I wanted to say was, and this has been said already, and it might be said again, and I think it needs to be said many times, and it's about what Peter brought to the music as a listener. Right. Today is Wednesday, and we're having this concert tonight, and I found it very curious, and maybe not even a coincidence, that Monday was Cecil Taylor's birthday. And um, on KCR, Ben Young was talking about Cecil, and how when he started playing, he stepped out into the unknown, and he never turned back. And he followed his spirit and his desire to play the way he wanted to play. And when I thought about that, it all made sense to me that Peter was that kind of a person. He made his decisions. He came here later in his life to America, to New York, to be around the music that he loved. And it meant so much to him. And for me, his intensity as a listener was just as important as the musicians that he came to see. And that you really need both. It's like yin and yang. You need the musicians and you need the listeners. And he was just incredible like that. And I miss him every day and I always will. And, but he's always with us too. And I'll always have him in my heart. So thank you. Close that night. We need some help, but Stephanie's going to close it out. Yeah. And afterwards, we're going to hear some final comments.
I do this all the time. I mean, everybody knows that, right? Uh, I guess I'm going to go on this way to my God. Thank you. It means so much. Thank you. 